Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with channels in Reaper. So in part one of this video, we went over working with channels within our tracks. Dealing with track routing, mono, stereo, and multi-channel files, working with the channel mapper plugin, sending the different tracks for monitoring multi-channel files, recording mono, stereo, and multi-channel files, and creating sends for multi-channel drum monitoring on separate tracks. So make sure you check out that video first before watching this one. So let's see how we could also work with channels in Reaper. We could also use different channels to create side chaining. So let's import a mono kick file from our hard drive into Reaper. Right here, drag and drop it. Let's also bring in our synth right here. And together, they sound like this. And again, our kick is mono and our synth is stereo. So there's two channels on each track, which we could check in the routing. Two channels. Let's say I wanted to sidechain our synth using the kick as a trigger. We could add a compressor to the synth. Let's choose the Rea Comp compressor, which looks like this. And for our detector input, we could change it from the main inputs to auxiliary inputs. And then we could use this as a sidechain. Just go to the routing on our kick and drag and drop it. And notice it's going to send our kick from one and two to three and four on the synth. So now we have four channels on our synth, with three and four being used as a sidechain, creating effects like this. Very common in electronic dance music. And again, if we check our routing on the synth, it's now changed to four channels. As channel one and two is for the synth, and three and four is for the kick that's triggering the sidechain, giving us the effect we're hearing here. Now, there's one other way we could adjust the channels on each track, and that's using the channel modes. Let's delete all this, and let's bring in that synth and vocal, which if you remember, is the four channel file we used in part one of the video. Over here, and if we right click the file, we can go to the item settings, and we can come down over here and check out the different channel modes. With normal, we're gonna get left and right being left and right. But we could also reverse it right here with right and left being switched. We could also do this in the media item properties. We could just double click this file, which opens up the properties and change the channel mode here. Again, normal, left is left and right is right. We could reverse it so right is left and left is right. Or we can make it mono, hit OK, and just hear it in the middle of our two speakers, blended together. Or we can make it mono using just the left or just the right. But down over here, we could choose the extra channels. So let's choose on the stereo to just hear stereo one and two. So now we're just gonna see and hear our synth. But remember, this file is multi-channel using four channels. But we're just gonna hear and see the first two in stereo. But now we could duplicate this track and do the opposite with this one. Double click it, go to stereo, and switch it to three and four. So now we're just going to hear three and four on this track, even though both files are the same. But we have the vocal over here. Hey, don't call me up. And the synth over here which we could blend 
using our faders. Hey, don't call me up. I know you know what you did. So the radio up. Don't want to hear it. It's too late for apologize. And we can do the same thing with our drums. Let's delete this. Let's import that drum file from the first video. Right here, drag and drop it. And again, this track has four channels. The first channel being the kick, the second channel being the snare, and the third and fourth channel being the overheads. But we could double click it and switch it to just mono left. Now we're just going to hear our kick. We could duplicate it again and make this one the snare by switching it to mono right. Just do the same thing again. Duplicate this track. And for this one, we'll switch it to stereo, but three and four. And now, we have the overheads on this track. So you can blend them all together, but keep in mind, all these files are exactly the same. We just chose a different channel mode so we could hear and just see what we want on each track. So that's another way we could divide our channels between different tracks and just hear the channels we want to hear. So that's pretty much it. That's how to work with channels in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh.